All right, we are down to our main event of the evening. Fateki Matsuda, veteran of two UFC fights. He's made it to the top. He's fought all around the world, repping the Japanese flag. Joe Lowe's on Kyle Bokniak in his corner. You know, he's been a top tier. Tyson Chart here in his corner as well. He's been a top contender at this bantamweight weight class forever. Made it to the top. And now he's got probably one of the toughest local tests of his career in front of him in Kin Moy. And this being Kin Moy's most likely retirement fight, that's a lot at stake. That's a lot of emotion. So expect there to be complete fireworks for the next 15 minutes or less. Sharp. Guys, we did it. 21 fights, main event of the evening. Is it this before is midnight? Awesome fight. Yes. It is before it's midnight. It's 11.30. All right. We just made it. So it's a Teki Matsuda, like you said, fun all over the world. He's fought in the UFC. And this guy, you know, even, you know, getting cut from the UFC, going over to Japan to fight, coming back over here to fight. I mean, this guy, he hasn't changed anything about his demeanor. He still has the intention. He wants to keep fighting. Keep win the big, keep winning the big fights, and he doesn't matter. He doesn't care who it is. He wants to fight the toughest guys. And Kid Moy called him out. So Teki Matsuda, all business, all focus, just determined to continue winning in this sport of mixed martial arts. And we're awaiting King Kong Moy. You know who had been at the top of the heap of New England MMA for as long as I can remember. You know, he's made a second win of his career here at Cage Titans, winning three in a row after, winning two in a row after losing the title shot to Jay Perrin. We await the walkout song to start, and listen, this is the main event that was made, and everyone who knew either of these guys has been excited for this fight to happen ever since it was announced. This is one of those magical fights, and people know that this may be the last time that you see Kim Moy in the cage. He is pretty much certain of it, but you never know how seriously to take the R word, retirement, in this sport. He's a fighter through and through. He is born to do this and make people look good in fashion. So who knows how long this retirement stint stays, but it seems like he's very confident that this is the last one unless he makes it to the big show. So King Kong Moy gets a huge ovation here, and we are ready to go for this main event. Yeah, and Kid Moy said it himself. He's he's not sure, you know, if fighting on the local level is going to be worth it for him much longer. So he said he's not sure if he's motivated to keep fighting like this. But a fight like Tateki keeps him motivated because he knows that if he wins this fight, this could be his call to rather the Contender Series or the UFC. And that's what he's here for. This could potentially be his last fight. If not... Who knows? We'll see what happens to Teki Matsuda, Kin Moy. It's an incredible main event. It's been a long night. We've had some incredible fights, but we're here, and this is it, the main event. Ladies and gentlemen of Plymouth Memorial Hall, 20 fights down, only one to go. This is your main event of Cage Titans 47. If you are ready for this main event, Plymouth Memorial Hall, let me hear you! Let's go! Three rounds, five minutes apiece, in the professional bantamweight division. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, with the professional record of 15 victories and nine defeats, he stands five feet, seven inches tall, and he weighed in at 136 pounds. From Tokyo, Japan, he's representing Broadway Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Lozon MMA. Let's hear it for Tateki Tech Matsuda! And now introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner with the professional record of 11 victories with four defeats. He stands five feet, five inches tall, and he weighed in at 135 pounds. From Boston, Massachusetts, he's representing Citadel. Let's hear it for Kin Kong Moore! And we 
when the action begins, our referee for this main event matchup is Chris Burke. Here we go. The voice is gone. I got 15 minutes or less of this. Moi. To Matsuda. Matsuda in the tight black trunks. Kim Moy in the looser black trunks. No to touch to the gloves. comes right out to the center. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. These guys are throwing. This is a much different Tateki than we are used to seeing. Tateki we knew there was bad blood here for Almost both guys. Almost like he's angry. Yeah, there was definitely some bad blood going into this fight. And to be honest, I don't think we've ever seen an angry Tateki fight. Nice yep. leg kick from Ken Moy, some of the best in the game. And Ken Moy was the one who was uh, antagonizing. Antagonizing. I think Tateki felt disrespected. You know, both of these guys so prominent in the New England MMA scene over the tenure of their long careers. <laughs> Such a testament to the experience that has been top to bottom of this card tonight. Yep. This is such a, so, a special main event. Kin Moy fighting like he's got. This is the last time he's ever going to do this. Yep. Fired up in there. I want to see both guys settle into a rhythm here. Nice right hand from Kim. Train with both guys. You know, I don't have much invested in the fight outside of hoping to see a good scrap. It's kind of nice to take a deep breath and uh, let my heart rate slow down. Again, I do believe that uh, <sighs> Perez suffered an early stoppage. <laughs> just want to make sure everybody understands that I believe he was robbed of the fight. Oh, nice trying up. to open up with the hands here. Nice little left hook breaks the guard. Kim Moy returns and lands that right hand. As tech oh, oh slugfest here. They both land. Kin's talking to him. Both guys Kin. throwing power. Again. Kin has such heavy leg kicks. Oh, they both do. Oh. oh. Kin throwing those shins around like it's his job, which it is right now. You're not wrong. Got to see Tateki set those up with the lead hand. Great movement here from both guys. Ken looking super cool, calm. Tateki still seems a little worked up. But, oh! oh! Nice left hand. Overhand drops it right in on the chin. Ken Moore looking sharp. Ken looking like he's loading up that, that right hand again. You know, got to be careful of that. Oh, man. It's nice tech. left hook from Tateki. Yep, he countered that beautifully. Nice right hand, left hook. Good clinch. Good. I'd love to see Techie finish with a knee up the middle off that tie clinch. Good feint. Guys, both guys are owning their range. Stiff jab from Ken Moy. There's blood on the knee of Ken Moy from what I do not know. Ooh. Nice body kick. Feel the flesh just folding in as that shin hits the rib. And Ken taunting him, trying to get under his skin. Oh! Nice take down from Tateki. Great Beautiful timing. timing. He set it up with the overhand here right. Here comes the top pressure. Tateki, no stranger to the ground either. But Ken, oh, so hard to take to uh, keep down. Posting up and getting an underhook. Ken, so good at popping right back up to his feet. Right in front of the broadcast booth, Tateki Matsuda taking the back of Ken Snuck Moy. Snuck out the back door. <clears throat> Ken Moy switching his hips, turning into him. And just already every facet of the game that's been implemented. Oh, oh beautiful elbow off the break from Kim Moy. And that's how you separate a clinch. But yeah, in the clinch, in the strikes, both of these guys showing their experience already this early in the fight. Oh, nice left hook from Kim Moy as Tateki comes in, but Tateki lands a nice jab as Kim comes in. That leg kick starting to pay dividends already. You see the welt on that left lead leg oh, no of doubt. Tateki Matsuda. No doubt. Kim Moy's landed a good half dozen of those and a nice knee. And a nice rhythm. knee. Ken Moy's looking as good as he ever has. Oh, Ken Moy in on a shot of his own. Tateki doing a good job fighting for the underhooks, trying Very to get nice that defense. sprinter stance on the cage. Great job from good Tateki Matsuda separating. Great hips there. Good awareness of Ken not to waste any energy going for that takedown. That's just experience showing through. I mean, the fight IQ on both of these guys is through the roof. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh without a doubt. Wow. Gave him a haircut there. You're not going to see either oh. one of these guys second guessing. 
Nice. Oh, oh nice right hand over the top from Kim Moy, breaking on the clinch. Tateki a nice yeah, again. On take down. again looking for the takedown. Wow. I'd love to see Tateki finish with a knee up the middle. Ten seconds there. Kim Moy's takedown defense thus far, impeccable as is Tateki's. Wow, how do you score that wow. round? Kim Moy having some fun in there, throwing those kicks. Very, Tateki. very close round. Tateki showing Kim Moy he means business. Would hate to be a judge on this one. God. Man, both guys, both guys had their moments in that one for sure. A lot of great combination work. A couple takedowns there for, or one takedown rather for Tateki. Kim's two takedowns were both stuffed. Very, very interesting first round. Just two high, high, high level guys here. Kim Moy really implementing that leg kick game early. You're seeing the damage so soon after only a half a dozen of those. And you know Ken Moy can do those for days. So we've seen leg kicks really pay dividends earlier in this night. That's a cockroach. <laughs> oh, man. Priorities. So going into the second round. Yeah, back to the fighting. Techie Matt Suter needs to start checking those kicks and countering those kicks of Kin Moy. Kin Moy Oop, trying to keep things up at this pace. You know, I'd be curious to see if Techie Matt Suter sees an opening for a takedown if he takes it. And now he goes to the inside of the leg, does Kin Moy. We'd love to see these guys work on some straight punches. Oh. Yeah, what really separates Kin Moy? from the rest of their division is just his creativity. He's never thrown the same thing twice in any of the fights that I've seen him. He always is mixing it up with elbows in the clinch, mixing takedowns up, throwing that kick off of that. He's like a whirlwind, whipping that shin around afterwards. Look at him smiling. He's having fun in there. Doing a good job blocking the knees. Mm. Mm. Oh, he eats a right hand that there from landed. Tateki. Tateki was looking for the takedown. Good Ken, pressure. Ken looking for that shoulder. In on the takedown. Nice. Yeah, back to the center. One of these guys is bound to get that chin to find a home. Excuse me, get that fist to find a home on the chin. It's been a long night. <laughs> Very long night. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh! Okay, Got these it. guys... Would love to see some low leg kicks implemented here off the Oh, jazz. another leg kick. That nice. one caught the toes, but still. Kid Moy putting his hands up after everything Tateki grazes with. Right. Tateki needs to really work on some straight punches. He's coming in with some hooks. Oh, those toes dug into the liver there. Oh, nice there we go. Man. Now There's they're trading. The they're trading. You just hear the thuds. Oh, up. man. Oh, Both guys job. taking oh, shots. Oh, another right hand from Kid Moy and a knee down the pipe. Let's see some uppercuts. Let's see some rare uppercuts after these jabs. Both boys are doing a good job. Oh, hey! Wow. Kid Moy is definitely going for the Matrix kill here. Stuff. You know, you cannot write off to Techie's No, absolutely experience. not. Sees those kicks coming a mile away, gets oh, out of the way. He's deep this time. He is right on the hips. There's Let's see the if take Tateki's down. got it to get back up. You know, Tateki's starting to post on that right hand. Both guys are bleeding. Kid Moy looking to pass here. Tateki looking to scramble up to his oh, feet. Oh, Kid Moy, you know, good pressure on top. Kid, Kid Moy going into this fight was talking about how he wanted to break the will of Tateki Matsuda. And with this top pressure right now, Matsuda's looking to dig deep and get up as he does, and he eats Tateki a knee upstairs. Tateki fights his way back to his feet. Beautiful no job. No question of the Elbow. heart on either of these guys. What a great main event. Nice body kick from Kin Moy to Tacky throwing leather. Ken still seems to be smiling his way in. Oh, beautiful oh, left hook to the body. The body you, you see him take a quick breath there. Ken. Oh, nice oh. left hook. 
Ken, oh. Ken's really starting to land here. And Tateki's starting to wear it in the face. He's got blood rushing from his nose. And he's going to go he's for another takedown. He's got to get underneath that nose with the cross face. That, that blood is leaking from the oh, face he, of Tateki it is. Matsuda. But it Tateki is. Oh, takedown for Ken Moy. There's the two for Ken Moy. Couldn't resist. He hates Confirmed. Oh, yeah, he does hate that, doesn't he? What's that? The two Reference for takedown. Take the two points for the wrestling, but... Kateki doing a good job trying to build back up. Oh. Ken Moy just unrelenting with that pressure. Ken's going to take his back here. He's looking here. for the Dagestani handcuff, and he yep. gets it. But Tateki back to a knee. Tateki could fight his way back up, use the cage to scrape and face. Looks like that's what he's going for right here. Perfect. Oh, oh. Elbow, 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 elbow on the way out. Clinch. That is just phenomenal. Work. Nice An elbow, elbow on the way in. Ken Moy starting to take it to Tateki now. Another low kick. He's starting to land starting at to 30 seconds apart. left in the second round. He's starting to land at a much higher rate and get out of dodge. Ken's starting to come away with this one, but Pateki firing back and landing a good left hook as Ken tries backing out. You know, where is dodge? Oh, man. Oh, man. Working on that leg is Ken. Pateki just throwing elbow, elbow over the elbow top. Over the top. Pateki's got to keep those hands up. Nice. Ken eats a body kick, delivers one to the leg. Ten seconds here. You know, Tateki still has so much power in all these shots. Oh, you know, I wish he would just relax a little bit and let him fly. He seems to be so bound tonight. That head kick grazed. Wow. End of round two. What Ten minutes round. down. Huge round for Kim Moy. In this main event fight. <sighs> Five minutes or less to go. What a crazy pace this has been through ten minutes. The crowd's on its feet here at Plymouth. So many fights have been just fought at a high pace tonight. It's just high, high level. And that round, we saw two takedowns from Ken Moy, and then we saw a lot of damage build up on the face of Tateki Matsuda. I mean, he was landing left hooks, right hooks, straights, elbows. Tateki definitely answered back, but it seemed like Ken was getting the best of those combinations. Ken Moy walking into what's possibly the last five minutes of his MMA career to Teki Matsuda. Very well could be down two rounds. He may need to go for broke and go for a finish here in this third and final round. Five minutes of action left to go at Cage Titans 47 to Teki Matsuda versus Ken Moy. I mean, I know Joe Lozon. I know Joe went in there and said, hey, to Teki, listen, you're down two rounds on the cards. We got to get a finish. Go in there, fight smart. Oh! Big uppercut. Stumble Kim though. Kim with the poker Kim face, but those legs are jelly. Kim's not hurt. Kim, he is, he, Kim's hurt. He's hurt. Nice kick oh, right up man. the middle. I don't think Let's the techie knows how hurt he has him. That uppercut was perfect, and a nice lever kick. He's still, He's still wobbly. Soft on his legs. Still might, soft on his legs. The hips are wobbling over his knees. Tech cracked him with that uppercut. That was Let's perfect. Let's see if the techie can read oh, it. Oh, he threw it again. Can the techie read it? Let's see if he sees red. You know. Well, he's also been taking a beating right now. I know, but not, you see yeah, an opponent. Oh, yeah. They're the chicken dance. I yes. mean, Kim Moy he is got doing cracked, the third. and, you know, his legs went, but his torso remarkably stayed pretty still. So right, if you're staring you at the chest. You've got to read you got to read the legs. Oh, man. The knees are not there. Tateki's yeah. throwing power. As you see, yeah. Kim Moy has stopped smiling. Tateki seems to know that he's got the edge right here, and he's really just starting to pick away. Oh, nice as Kim nice Moy head kick. must have cleared the cobwebs a bit because most he threw definitely. some pop in there. I don't know. His feet still do not seem to be underneath him. They're a little bit more he now. Might still be hurt. I would love he's to see the bounce. Tech, tech yeah. has got to go forward. He does, and he's he's coming up short on all of these inter on all these exchanges. Where if he just took a little bit of a baby step forward with that rear yeah. uppercut, maybe it would touch his and chin. And look, you can see Kim's balance is off. There it is. Let's see these guys go. Well, we Kim, got three and a half minutes left. Kim's we want to see a finish. Kim's definitely getting more cautious when uh, closing the distance because he's got a lot. Uh, that, that was the first shot that really commanded respect. Oh, big there we left hook from Tech. Big and, left hook from both guys. Yeah, Tech yep. is starting to really come across with this round. He knows he needs to finish, so he's throwing everything but the kitchen sink into every punch and kick he throws at Kim Moy. He's throwing for the knockout, the comeback knockout. Kim Moy looking to keep the pace and throws a one-two change in the level Kim right Moy there. Shot. Oh, you got to punch the ribs, get the oh, hips man. back, toes down, fight right. the cage, stand back up, get athletic, 
Oh, and a knee from Ken Moy. Great way to mix things up in this third wow. round. Keep the techie thinking. Maybe make him hesitant to throw everything he has Great into his exchange. punches. The techie's back on the offense here, attacking the leg. Left. Let's see if he can sit the pipe right here. What a battle. Shoulders. Ooh, shoulders. Tateki doing a good job fighting that head control. Looking to control the posture of Ken Moy. Oh, 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 Ken Moy looking for the takedown. He's gonna get it. Great use of the double underhooks. Tateki tried with that wizard, but to no avail. Come on, what are we doing here, guys? Someone's oh, gonna man. get on top. Ken oh, Moy's man. going for that Dagestani handcuff, and he's got it in a much better position than he had it earlier oh. in, the round, in the fight. He's got to jump One over. One free hand. This is frustrating to be he's on the about bottom. To, he's about to lose the risk. Ken Moy's going to try and recontrol the risk. Never mind. Tateki's out of the handcuff. You got a minute, just about a minute and a half left on this one. Now, Ken Moy finishing this round on top. Even though he was rocked, he did not go down. Might seal that third round. Oh, big elbow from the top position from Ken Moy. Really mustering back strong here. This crowd starting to get pulse, get a pulse behind it. One minute and 19 seconds left in this main event matchup. Full guard for Tech. Minute left here. To Techie looking really to work hard to get back to his feet. Trying to get the feet in the hips, looking to create some distance. And Ken back to still his beating him up here. Ken's Tur looking to get that hand under the chin. Oh man, he's gonna Kentucky go doesn't out. want to take it. Uh, we got just nope. under a minute left on the clock. Beautiful elbows from Ken Moy in this top half guard. He's working them here. Down to the last 30 seconds on the match. Oh, he's going into mount. Oh. Tateki doing guard. a good job. Staying active, not giving up, looking to improve. Short time, both guys are going to be looking for some home runs here. Ken's got a good knee on belly. Into side control. Oh man, he's just working got a fight tech. to get his head off the mat here. Look to stand up, maybe land a knee on the way out. Who knows? 12 seconds to go here. in this main here event fight. A big knee. Oh, he's back Ken up to Moore. his feet. And they're going to go fight. for it. They're going to go for it. Where is it? Who's going to end up on top? Oh, man. Wow. And that does it. A fight. 15 a minutes. Fight. Three full rounds. Kid Moy and Tateki Matsuda go the distance in the main event of Cage Titans 47. Wow. Wow. We saw it makes you wish it was a five round fight. Unbelievable. You saw what a fight. kicks galore from both of these animals. Big punches landed. And then Tateki, most likely down two rounds going into that third, lands an uppercut from hell and gets some momentum. Tries to finish the fight. Kim Moy resilient, even though he was on Queer Street on Jello legs. He scores the takedown, gets on top, vicious ground and pound. This fight had everything. We knew it had potential to have everything, and it delivered. What a main event, what a fight, and what class acts between both of these two seasoned New England MMA veterans. What a fight. Yeah, from beginning to end, belt to belt, each guy had their moments. Kim Moy, though. Ken Moy, man, that third round, he really started to take over. But Tech had him hurt. He had him wobbled. He hurt him with a big right hand. Um, wasn't able to finish it. Ken was able to come back, and the exchanges on the ground towards the end were just all in favor of Ken. Ken was all over him there towards the end, really beating him up on top, you know, in half guard, going into neon belly. They ended up back up to their feet. You know, not an ounce of quit in either of these guys. These guys fight till the very, very end, which they did, and it was an incredible fight. You got anything, Slip? Definitely an exciting fight. Great exchanges, back and forth. I'm very interested to see how it's called. Two local guys, both fan favorites. Yep. Kitten definitely did a good job in the first two rounds, or first round, second round. Tateki came out looking good at the beginning of the third. We'll see how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen of Plymouth Memorial Hall, make some noise for these two main event warriors. 
After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. With scores of 30, 27 across the board, we have your winner by unanimous decision, Kin Kong Moy! There you have it, 30, 27. The scores for Kin Kong Moy which could potentially be his final fight. This could be his retirement fight. No matter what, both of these guys, they left it all out there. They left it all in the cage. It was an incredible fight to Teki Matsuda, a longtime veteran. Kin Moy, another veteran. Could be his last fight, we don't know if it is. That was a beautiful, beautiful way to end a beautiful career that Ken has had over the years.